Hello and welcome back to video number four. This is the authority test. When it comes to being authority, you always want to be one step or one level ahead of your audience. What do I mean by that? I mean, if your audience are newbies, you want to make sure that you are at least in the intermediate level. Or if your audience are intermediates, then you need to make sure that you are an expert in that niche. And the reason being is because you need to be several steps ahead to ensure that you answer their questions. In other words, you need to make sure that you can gain their trust by providing value. And that way they understand that you have been through what they are going through right now. Because if you're going through what they're going through right now, they might see you as the same level as them. They don't really see you as the authority. They see you as maybe somebody who's a friend or somebody who understands what they're going through, but not yet has encountered the future. See what I mean by that? You have encountered the future and therefore you can give them advice and tips to help them. So people want to know essentially if you are ahead of them, because basically the reality is if you do not know what you're talking about, people can see right through you. They won't trust you. And in the end, they will not buy from you because at the end of the day, people buy from people that they like and trust. So trust is a bigger major factor here. So that's really what this whole formula is all about is how can we get people to trust you? And ethically and rightfully so, if you know the niche, you know the advice and the tips and you've lived it, then you're more likely to be able to connect. And by connecting, you understand their struggles. You see where if you find something that's just profitable and you're relying purely on somebody to write the content for you, so you're missing that emotional connection. So at the end of the day, if you think about it, people buy for emotion. They don't buy for logic. They justify their purchases with logic. All right. So with that said, if you're one step ahead of everybody else, great. If you're not, it might be something to think about. With that said, let's move on to video number five.